house plants these are the plants that are grown indoors in places such as residences and offices for decorative and aesthetic purposes but studies have also shown them to have positive psychological effects along with helping in indoor air purification due to some soil dwelling microbes associated with them hello guys welcome to the imod forums the agraria youtube channel today we will talk about five plants that we can adopt in our apartments so let's get started the first one fiddle leaf fig this plant with large leaves and sprawling vine like growth gives a forested look fiddle leaf figs can grow a couple feet every year if given the proper care these popular house plants can climb up to 6 feet or more in your home most of these trees serve as floor plants and thanks to their towering size the second one peace lily for beginners this is a tough plant to grow it needs regular watering it has large tropical leaves and pretty white flowers and can grow quite large most serve as floor plants since they can reach 3 feet tall and grow wide with big bold leaves it is listed by nasa as one of the most indoor air cleaning plants and it's poisonous for cats and dogs if you are owning them better avoid growing this plant number 3 philodendron this is another great choice for newbies of a low maintenance garden The pretty foliage trails so philodendron is good for hanging planters of a high shelves. Philodendron house plants thrive indoors years round without complaint, but they enjoy an occasional stay outdoors in the shady spots as well. Number 4, Sansevieria. For striking tall foliage, try this one. Snake plants have long spiky upright leaves and are easy to grow. Sansevieria has a demonstrated ability to remove formaldehyde and benzene from the air. Snake plants are moderately toxic to people, dogs and cats, so be careful. Number 5, Pothos. It has a beautiful foliage and comes in a variety of colors and patterns. It doesn't need a lot of light, so you can brighten up your dark corners with it. Grow pothos in a container that rests on a bookshelf or a ledge or in a hanging container so that its superior cascading habit can be appreciated. It can grow to about 6 to 10 feet over time. All the parts of this plant are poisonous if ingested by humans or animals. So be aware. So guys, this is all for today. Hope you all liked the video and you're now sure about getting your next green friend in the apartment. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the iMoji Agraria YouTube channel if you haven't already. We will be soon back with our next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe and as usual, keep learning. Bye bye.